The Toreador actually predates the more widely known margarita. It first appeared in the Café Royale cocktail book in 1937 when tequila was relatively unheard of outside of Mexico. Quite honestly, I find it an easier introduction to tequila than the more punchy margarita as it's smoother and fruitier but still does pack enough agave punch to satisfy even your most ardent margarita drinkers looking to mix things up. Uh, this drink is best served naked, you don't need a garnish for it. The salt rim that goes with the margarita doesn't really work, but we do have the bitters in there, which is basically another way of, of seasoning the cocktail slightly. So no garnish to get prepared first of all, so we can just dive right in. Uh, we do need to squeeze some fresh lime juice. So we're going to go for 40 mils of a good quality tequila. Arete is a little bit more expensive. I really think it's worth it because it's really quite fruity and herbaceous, which works really well in this cocktail. Um, otherwise, as regular viewers will know, I'm a big fan of Calle 23, which is a little bit cheaper as well. Marionette apricot brandy is made with local apricots and has like a really lush spiced fruit flavor that I love. It does finish a little bit drier, hence the sugar to kind of balance it out. Otherwise, Massonese or Cartron both have really good quality ones. 20 mils of your fresh lime juice. Now I'm using a good dash of Mr. Bitters Fig and Cinnamon Bitters, and it also does work really quite well with a little bit of the more woody spice that you get in tequila. If you can't get your hands on this, then a dash of Angostura will just help to lengthen it out as well. It's also not the kind of cocktail that's gonna be completely ruined if you just don't pop bitters in there. Just adds a nice other dimension. We love different dimensions. And then really just a little dash, about five mils of some sugar syrup. As I said, it might not be necessary if you're using a sweeter apricot brandy or if you just have quite a dry palate anyway. Fill your shaker tin up with as much ice as you can possibly fit in there. Pop your tins together and shake as hard as you can. delicious. Now grab yourself a nice coupe glass. One of the nice things about being at home is I'm actually using all of the lovely glassware that I never quite get round to when I'm busier. Just do a double strain, so using the Hawthorne strainer to hold the ice back and through your fine strainer. The Toreador, so now you know. Also if anyone knows if I'm saying that correctly please feel free to let me know in the comments because I have no idea. Let's give this a taste shall we? By the way, thank you to all of the recent subscribers that have joined the channel. It's really great to have you with us. If you haven't yet, then why not hit that button now and the little bell too, and that way you'll get notified whenever new episodes come out. See, I love this one because the tequila is still so obviously there. All of the flavors are really working and supporting it. But whereas obviously Curacao is, um, you know, quite a citrusy and, and kind of light flavor, the apricot's just that little bit heavier, so sort of rounds the whole drink out. Um, and makes it, I guess, I mean, on, quite honestly, for me, it's actually a little bit more balanced. Um, please don't shoot me, Margarita enthusiasts. Uh, but it's a really good example of how keeping like the same sort of basic format, but just switching out one ingredient can really make a massive difference to a drink. So this drink is best served naked, as am I with tequila. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs>